Hey guys, Antonio here with some more of the obstacles the way. Um, today we're going to talk about chapter title "Get Moving." Okay, and uh, we're still in part two on action here. So, anyone who's become great at anything obviously started somewhere. Now, there's this whole debate where people have more talent than others. You know, um, we can't really prove what someone who had a lot of talent did but didn't act a lot to figure it out or someone who never actually tried something to see if they acted a lot if they would get to the same level as someone who had a lot of talent. So in my opinion, anyone can accomplish a great deal of anything as long as they start acting. So in order to become great at anything, you need to start somewhere, anywhere, right now, wherever you are, start acting. Make a plan and start. No matter what the conditions are, a lot of, um, I, I think I said this before in a previous video, but uh, it was like half of the Fortune 500 companies or something like that were started in a depression or a recession or an economic downtime. Um, that just comes to prove that anything can happen. If you're a Fortune 500 company and you started at a very bad time where everyone is scared to invest and stuff like that, imagine how hard it was. But it doesn't matter. They started because they had a vision and wanted to go towards it. You need to start no matter what the conditions are. And a lot of times in life, you know what your problems are and you know how to solve them. But you are afraid of what you actually can do when you are trying to solve them. So fear ends up holding you back. But you need to realize that the time for fear holding you back is past. If you want that, if you want that end goal, if you want that solution, fear cannot be the thing that's holding you back. So the, the solution to get past fear is have the courage to just get started. Now, if you have started and you ask yourself, have you gotten to the place where you'd like to be? If the answer is no, ask yourself, could you be doing more? Could you be doing something different? Could you be doing something that's better? If that's the case, then do those things. But you need to ask yourself these questions as time goes on because you need to hold yourself accountable because no one else will. Um, and the key here is to never let up and always move forward. They give an example of a pilot. If the pilot had slowed down the plane, then the plane would eventually crash. The only way to keep going is by moving forward. Um, so you really need to know, you always need to keep moving forward because if you're not moving forward, in my opinion, you're falling backwards because everyone else that you're facing is also going to keep going forward. Um, so the only way you're going to keep going forward is you keep making those incremental, incremental progress every single day. Um, they give a nice definition of courage here, which is just simply taking action. Regardless of how you're feeling, just take that action. You might feel the fear, you might not feel the fear, but if you do, have the courage to simply take that action. Because a lot of times on the other side of fear, there's not that pain that's there, that you think is there, that your mind created. And a lot of people want this momentum, you know, they're like, oh, like, you know, if I had already 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, then you know, that would be awesome, but I don't. So I'm not gonna make any YouTube videos. But the only way you're gonna get to 100,000 subscribers is if you start today making some videos, keep making the videos over and over again, you market yourself, get some people to see your videos, improve your videos, keep moving forward, and eventually you might have 100,000 subscribers if you keep it up for long enough. But in order to get that momentum, you need to create it for yourself by starting today. So I hope you guys start today and create some momentum for yourselves and start attacking that thing that you've always wanted to attack. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I left the link in the description down below to this book if you'd like a copy of Purchase Yourself on Amazon. Um, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Also, subscribe along for more videos and have a great day.